Hi, uh, this is just a quick uh, run through of the uh, home page. Uh, basically, what the home page allows the user to do is uh, view um, a set of images up here, uh, banner images, if you like, um, which uh, can have associated captions. Um, and each caption can link through to a page within the site. So you can have up to five of these image and caption combinations. Um, I've set the limit at five because uh, any more than that would significantly slow the loading of the page. Um, so uh, below that we have um, a tab which allows the user to toggle between the latest school news and forthcoming events and to the right of that we've got uh, space for accreditation logos so if we look at the page in Expression Engine you'll see that uh, the slider field here allows you to add up to fly five slider images and each image must be 960 pixels wide and 350 pixels high and it's very important that the accompanying text be no more than 20 to 25 words or about 100 characters because you can see that the design requires that this text be quite short and finally we have the option here to specify the page to which the uh, caption text links. And below the slideshow options we have the uh, field that allows you to specify the heading of the accreditation box. And below that we have the options for uploading the accreditation logos. These must be exactly 216 pixels wide to fit into the slot that I've created for them. And each logo should have uh, alt text. This is the text that appears uh, for the benefit of uh, users who can't access images. For example, somebody using a screen reader obviously won't be able to see the image so they will, they will be reliant on the alt text. So all you need to do really is just type in the uh, text that's on the image into the alt text field. And here we have the uh, option to add a link to the um, accrediting organization. So in this case the Ofsted logo links to the Ofsted website. Um, the only other thing to point out about the logos is that if you can, it's good to save them in black and white or in grayscale. Uh, that's because um, grayscale uh, images will distract less from the uh, design of the rest of the page. If these were all in color, then they'd add quite a noisy element to the page because the, all of the logos have their own style and have their own brand and the brand of these uh, logos would be competing with the brand uh, that we've developed for the website. So it's not a disaster if you add these in colour, but it is good if you can uh, to add them uh, in uh, grayscale. Uh, so that's basically how the home page works.